Science and finding the LCM and GCF of 77, 91, and 143. And this will help. Uh, you can use this technique for any numbers, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I like to use a factor tree. So let's get started with 77. 7 times 11 equals 77. I will circle both of these because they are prime. Next, 91 is just 7 times 13. I will circle both of these because they are prime. And now 143 is 11 times 13. I will circle both of these because they are prime. So now I have it down to all the prime numbers. And so next I'm going to write the prime numbers out. We have 7 and 11 for 77. For 91 we have 7 and 13. And then for 143 we have 11 and 13. Okay, so now to find the LCM, which is the um, largest multiple of all three numbers um, that is divisible by all three numbers evenly, I uh, just basically multiply all of the prime factors together, except if they're found in more than one number, only multiply them once. So 7 is found in two of the numbers, so I will only multiply it once. And then 11 is found in two of them, so I will multiply it once. And then 13 is found in two of them. So to find the LCM, I go 7 times 11 is 77. And then multiply this by 13, and that equals 1,001. So that's the LCM. Now to find the greatest common factor, which is the largest number that will uh, divide into all three numbers evenly. I do the same thing. I'm going to write out the prime factors. We have 7 and 11, and then 91 is 7 and 13, and then 143 is 11 and 13. And I need to find a number that is found in all three of the numbers. Well, 7 is found in two of the numbers, but not three, so I can't use 7. 11 is found in two, but not three, and the same with 13. So the greatest common factor of 77, 91, and 143 is 1 because it will go into all three evenly. So there we go, finding the LCM and GCF of 77, 91, and 143. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.